Hi, I'm Courtney Knuckles, and I'm a fourth semester student here at Calhoun. And so I wanted to encourage y'all in this journey of nursing school. So it is a ride, but there are ups and downs. And let me just tell you, you can do this. So I wanna give you some of the tips and tricks and things that I've learned as an older student to help your journey. So first of all is time management and organization. I know you've already heard this, but it is a lifesaver. So when you get that syllabus at the beginning of the semester with all your assignments and you kind of have your schedule and all those things, get that one calendar that you have all your other life, um, you know, in that calendar and put in every exam, your prep you due dates, your Swift River due dates. And I always do my prep you due dates the day before they're actually due, because if you've noticed, they prep you is due the day of exam. So nobody should be up doing those before the exam. So put prep you before the exam, put your Swift River in. And I will say the students that I see doing really well, never do things up to the deadline. They always do it ahead of time. So in your calendar, you will put the actual due date, but then you will put your own personal due date based upon what else you have going on in your life. So you need to balance this when it's a good time for you to get that done. If you have the mindset, well, I don't have to do that right now, you could easily find yourself drowning. But if you have the mindset, um, and this really works, if you will have the mindset, what can I get done right now? instead of I don't have to do that right now, you can stay one step ahead. And that really is the way to get through nursing school. And um, it's, I know it sounds easier said than done, but I promise it does get easier because you start training yourself to stay one step ahead. Do not procrastinate and go right up to that deadline, but get organized at the very beginning of the semester so you can pace yourself, okay? So, this can now uh, talk about test. So test, as you've probably um, heard, or maybe have already seen, they are completely different than your information knowledge based questions. So I highly, highly encourage you to get on YouTube and watch videos. Registered nurse is a good one. Watch videos on how to take nursing test. So you definitely need to find your people and our group, we really all get along very well, but practically, practically you're going to probably gravitate towards, you know, smaller groups within that group and really lean on each other, communicate, clarify, um, get together to study. Um, the way, the way I do it is we, um, study on our own to really learn the material and then we get together the day before the exam and do like a last run through and we pop quiz each other and we go over the information so you so don't lean on your study groups to drag you along and like you know make sure that you know the information you need to come prepared and you need to have done the work and then come together and just run through it because Repetition over time is another key to nursing school, so write that down. Repetition over time. So when you're learning uh, medications and you make little flashcards for the most important information about them, then you are going to review and review, and then you're gonna take a break from that, do something else, or, you know, and then come back the next day, review, review. Uh, it takes a while for this stuff to sink into your brain, so you cannot cram and you cannot expect to hear it once and retain it, pretty much you're gonna have to relearn how to study. So repetition over time, lean on each other, do read your book, okay? I know it's not a popular thing, but these books are incredible, and even if you are a slow reader like myself, and you sometimes can't get through every single assignment, something is better than nothing. So at least attempt, at least read the charts. If a instructor gives you a table or a chart in the book, you really do need to look at that table in that chart. It is a snapshot of information that you need. So don't, don't ignore that. 
Um, also, I think one of the most important things to getting through nursing school is literally determination because you're going to be tired, you're going to be stretched thin, you're going to be in clinicals and situations that are you feel like a fish out of water, but you have to sink your you know teeth into it and plant your feet very firmly and just be like, I am doing this. If you're struggling, reach out to your instructors. They really do. Um, want you to communicate with them, reach out to students that are doing well, but l just grab a hold of it and don't let go. All the learning that you're doing, you're primarily doing it for yourself as a nurse and for your patients. You're not primarily doing it for the grade. You have to make the grades to get the degree. But if you feel like, oh my gosh, I studied for two weeks for that test and I learned all this information and they only asked me you know, this much of what I know, you still need all of that information for every final, for the NCLEX, and when you're actually out there practicing. So none of it is wasted. So what you put into it is what you're going to get out of it. And I promise you, it will only make your life easier if you try to get as much out of it as you can. So best of luck. I really hope that y'all find some friends in this program and have fun and it's just a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and journey, so you've really got to make the most of it.